Howdy. So we're going to discuss about like, you know, a couple of topics from differential equation course, like in this video. Today, we will talk about the classification of differential equations, okay? So like we will talk about, um, first of all, the like, you know, there are two different type of differential equation, ordinary differential equation or partial differential equation. So ordinary differential equation means there is only one single independent variable, okay? Partial differential equation means there are multiple number of independent variables, okay? But fortunately for this course, like we will talk about ordinary differential equation only, okay? So like you don't have to worry about that part. And the second one, second issue is order, okay? Well, lots of students just confuse about order and degree, okay? The degree is concerned with power of your terms, but order is concerned with the uh, number of, I mean, the highest number of the derivative, okay? So if you have like, you know, a uh, second derivative on your differential equation, that is a uh, second order uh, differential equation. Okay? I mean, like that is the, as long as it is highest one, okay? And the next topic is like most complicated one, okay? So which is linear or nonlinear, okay? So, well, even I stated like the meaning of linear and nonlinear in this, uh, slide, but uh, like, you know, the, on the bottom one, that might be much easier to understand, okay? Look at number one, the dependent variable y and all is the derivative r of the first degree, okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? So if you have y square or y prime square or e to the y, I assume like y is dependent variable, okay? And or you have like sine or cosine function of y, something like that, all those are nonlinear term, okay? What about number two? each coefficient function must be a function of t only. Does it make sense? So it doesn't, it doesn't matter what kind of function it is, okay? As long as it's function of t and that's enough, okay? That is the linear, okay? So let's, let me give you some example problem here, okay? Look at that, number one. So let's start from the order of, uh, order of uh, equation, okay? So let me try to use, um, um, green color. For order, and I'm going to use the red for linear or nonlinear. Is that okay? So let's start from green. Okay, order. So when you look at the first problem, we're going to try to like make the circle for the derivative. Okay, I mean the highest the uh, highest derivative, okay? I'm talking about this guy, look at that. There is only one derivative and it is the first order, right? So this one is first order, okay? And what about um, the other part? So like this coefficient function is just function of t, okay? It is safe. So that is the linear, uh, linear term. And this one, like the coefficient is one, so which is linear. And right hand side, oh, it is exponential function, but still is it is function of t, so we can say this is a linear function. So the answer for this is uh, like first order linear differential equation. Okay, definitely is ordinary differential equation. Okay, and what about number two? The let me try to circle the highest order of the derivative. Okay, this is it. Okay, so as you can see here, second uh, second derivative, right? So the order of like uh, differential equation is second order. It is easy, right? And then let me check the coefficient function, okay? Look at that. Coefficient function of dy dt is t, which is function of some function of t, it is linear. And this part is so safe. And right-hand side, oh, it's a little bit complicated, but don't worry about it. As long as there is no dependent variable, it is linear. So the second problem is also second order, linear differential equation, okay? And what about number three? Let me circle the highest order of the uh, derivative, okay? This is, right? So that is definitely second order. And what about coefficient functions? T squared, okay? As long as it's function of T, linear, okay? And T cubed, it is also function of T and it is linear. Right, and what about this one? Right, so so y is dependent variable, but 
there is y square. This is nonlinear term, okay? As long as you have like, you know, one nonlinear term and your differential equation is nonlinear, okay? So the answer for number three is second order nonlinear. Okay, and what about number four? Uh, let me circle the order. There we go. Second derivative, right? So this is definitely second order. Okay. And then, oh, what happened here? Your dependent variable y is inside of cosine function. That is nonlinear term. So the answer for this one is second order nonlinear ordinary differential equation. Okay. And number five. This one is a little bit higher than before, right? There is third derivative term. So this is third order differential equation. So let me check the like, you know, linear or nonlinear, okay? Coefficient function two e, two e to the t, which is the function of t. So this is still linear, right? But look at that. Two, in the, uh, two dependent variables are multiplied, okay? Product of two in, Dependent variable y and y prime, which is nonlinear term. Okay. So your right hand side to t to the four is as long as it's function of t, it is a linear term. Okay. But for this equation, like there's only one nonlinear term, which is y times y prime. So the answer for this one is third order nonlinear. Okay. And number six. The highest order of the derivative is this one. So definitely it is third order, okay? And let me check the uh, linearity, okay? Coefficient function, is it is function of t, and it looks crazy, but don't worry about it. As long as there's no dependent variable in there, it is linear term. And right-hand side, it is also linear. So the answer for this one is third order linear differential equation, okay? And what about number seven? Well, it's really complicated, but just like be focused on the order first, okay? The highest order is here. The other one doesn't matter, okay? So the answer for this one is third order. And what about linear t? Cosine t, oh, it's fine, right? And t squared, it is also fine. But wait a minute, what happened? Wow, y, which is dependent variable, and dy dt, the like, you know, the derivative of your dependent variable is multiplied, right? So this is nonlinear term, okay? So cosine squared t is fine, and right-hand side, even it is a little bit complicated, but like as long as it's function of t, it is also safe, okay? So for number seven, there is only one nonlinear term, which is minus y times dy dt. So the answer for this one is third order nonlinear differentiate equation, okay?